In this video, we are going to discuss three types of votings. First is unanimity, second is majority, and third is plurality. These all three are used for voting process that help us to reach to the consensus, that help us to reach to the decision. Right. So let's understand unanimity first. Let's say there are five people in a group and all five agree to a particular proposal where all the members of the group are on the same boat right they are in complete agreement none of them are against the proposal right so this is the example of unanimity number two is majority in a group of 10 people six people voted in the favor of a particular proposal while four voted against that particular proposal where more than half of the group in this scenario six out of ten is more than half of the group are in the favor of that particular proposal so this is an example of majority number three plurality in a group of ten people let's say three people voted for proposal a Another three people voted for proposal B and rest four people voted for proposal C. Now, in this scenario, you can see proposal C has the most votes, right? Out of 10, C has four votes, that is most because A has three, B has three. So, C has four, it is most, right? Now, this is the example of plurality means here you can see proposal c has four votes that is most though it has no majority but it has most votes out of 10 people so this is an example of plurality so remember guys unanimity means everyone agrees to any particular proposal majority where more than half of the group agree for any particular proposal. Plurality means largest group agrees, but it may not be a majority. So remember unanimity, majority and plurality are all important decision making approaches that help us to reach to the consensus to finalize the decision in the project.